Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video has been requested by one of you guys that follow me on Instagram. Um, so the request was that I share basically what I do to my daughter's hair for it to grow. Um, so if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, guys, I would recommend that you go ahead and give me a follow. I will link my Instagram name in the description box and also down below. So feel free to check me out on Instagram. I do share a lot about what I do to her hair, especially when I plait her hair or when I just, you know, just my everyday sort of life so if you want to know a little bit more about me it would be a good idea to follow me on instagram so anyways let's hop into why we're here today um so this is what her hair is looking like i would normally uh, wash her hair every two to three weeks um just because you know it's just easier for me that way and also it works for her that way as well it works better for her that way too so i would normally plait her hair and just allow it to last that long and then i would take the hair out wash it and basically just take care of it um which is what i will be showing you so her hair right now is very dirty as you can see um i'm just showing you guys what her roots are looking like after I took the Conroe out. This Conroe have been on her hair for, I think it's been three to four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, no, I think it's been about three weeks. Um, so you can see she's getting quite a lot of build up on her scalp, and also her hair is really, really messy, really dirty. So, yeah, definitely in need of some TLC. So, I'm just taking the Conroe's out, um, and then what I'm going to do after taking the Conroe, it will be Sort of just making sure that her hair is like properly detangled, just like you would do on your own hair, essentially. So this is what her hair looks like after I've finished taking all the cornrows out. And it is super dry, it's super dirty, um, and it does need detangling. So I'm going to go ahead and part it first, and that's just to make the process just a little bit easier and also a bit more manageable for her. She's only two years old. And obviously, if I'm pulling and thugging and all of that, she's going to cry. So I have to be extremely gentle as I work on her hair just because, like I said, she's just a kid and, you know, she cannot tolerate pain or kind of discomfort. Now, the one thing I found that actually works a lot as well is whenever I do her hair, I would have, you know, some kind of cartoon on. So she's watching Peppa Pig. As I'm working on her hair, sometimes I'll give her my phone so she can watch cartoon on it, and that gets her a bit more. She kind of forgets that I'm doing her hair, if that kind of makes sense. And then obviously you're gonna have lots of treats as well, so things like sweets, crisp or chocolate and stuff like that, just to keep her in, um, sort of busy. So I parted her hair into smaller sections. I'm using my aloe vera hair of oil here. I'm gonna just apply quite a generous amount of that to her hair. Um, so including her scab as well and that's just to help melt the uh, build up that she's got around her roots so that it's easier for me to just get it off um, when I comb it later on now if you don't have this aloe vera hair of oil you can use any other oil of your choice I do have quite a lot of hair of oil recipes that I've shared with you guys in the past so feel free to try any of them but I would suggest that you check my website so you can get your aloe vera hair of oil. It's super amazing and I've been using it for her hair for a pretty long time. And I can certainly see some amazing results because her hair, I cut her hair off when she was one year old. I think she was one year, one month. And now she's just over two years. Um, and this is essentially just like a one, one year hair growth. You can see she's her hair has definitely grown a lot because it, she was literally bald like she had no hair and this is how much it, it grew in the space of a year and i think we did pretty well so like i said i'm just applying that and then i also went ahead with my um uh what's that called a flaxseed sort of leave-in conditioner or people treatment that I made for you guys uh, quite recently so I used it on my hair and then I had some left and that's essentially what I'm using on her hair as well um, just to detangle now most of the DIYs that I make for my hair I also use it on her hair um, we pretty much use the same kind of products um, just because it's just easier for me that way guys so if I make something and then you know there comes a need to do her hair I will definitely use it 
or if I don't have have it available I will make it and use it on her hair so whatever works for my hair works for her as well because we do share the same products so after applying that I just went ahead and detangled using my wire to comb and then I'm just doing a twist um, and then I'm going to move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of her hair is done so after I've done it all guys I'm just gonna just allow it to sit on her hair for about 10 to 15 minutes while I perhaps just get a coffee, get a little break or even breastfeed my baby uh, and this is what her hair kind of looks like after um, it's all done detangling you can see it's still quite dirty so I'm going to go ahead and give it a good wash so I'm going to shampoo her hair and condition it uh, and then I'll show you what her hair looks like in a little bit um, so in terms of shampoo and conditioners, I use exactly what I use on my hair as well. So that will be the LV um, uh, shampoo and conditioner. I think it's by L'Oreal Paris. Um, so that's the same thing that I use on my hair as well, that I use on her hair. And this is what her hair looks like after it's been shampooed. Um, you can see it's shrunk a lot, honestly, and it all got a little bit kind of rough <laughs> around the edges. <laughs> Uh, or, and, or around the ends just so you can see here um, but don't worry we're gonna get that sorted and it's pretty easy to sort out so don't worry so for this I will be using my moisturizing butter again this is available on my website so feel free to check it out you will see all these products just below the video actually so you can just click on it and it will take you directly to my website or you can um, certainly check the description box for my website as well. So I'm not adding any kind of leave-in conditioner to this, I mean to her hair, because we're just fresh out of the shower, guys. Her hair is damp, is already moisturized from the conditioner that I had on it. So I'm not going to add any extra product except for this um, moisturizing butter. So I'm just adding that to smaller sections. And then I'm going to go ahead again and detangle using my wide tooth comb. And this is so much easier. The thing with this butter is that it really helps to melt your curls. It contains shea butter, the pure, real shea butter right from Africa. Because um, that's why I normally import, you know, this um, the shea butter that I use to make this product. So, um, yeah, it's really, shea butter is super amazing for the hair as well. And that's what I use on her hair, to be honest. So every time that I want to kind of seal the motion in her hair, this is what I will be using alongside my aloe vera hair growth oil. And it has been working amazing for her. Now, the other thing that I found as well is that I used to use the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner for her hair. But I found that it was really drying her hair out. And it was leaving quite a lot of build-up as well in less than three weeks so I stopped using it and I just used my butter on her hair and that is absolutely fine the moisture is still there and I'm not getting quite as much build up so it's really really good so this is what the hair looks like after it's been detangled you can see her curls are popping um, her hair is really well moisturized so like I said I really didn't need any kind of like leave-in conditioner just the leaving con the condition that we had in your hair when we washed it was enough Plus the butter was enough to just, you know, keep her hair moisturized. And this is what it looks like. And it was just amazing. And look at her length, guys. She has quite a bit of length. But obviously her hair shrinks a lot. Um, so, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and plait her hair now. And this is what it looks like. I just went for something really nice and simple. Just because I didn't have enough time to spend putting extensions in and stuff like that. So it's something really quick. This took me about an hour to do and uh, yeah this is what it looks like this is the result so i would normally take her hair out on the same day wash it on the same day and plait it on the same day as well and that just helps to prevent you know um too much dryness and tangles and knots and all of that because i feel like she won't be able to manage it or i mean manage the discomfort or the pain really well if i leave it too long so i just take it out and just make sure i do it all on the same day and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm using my aloe vera high growth oil again on her scalp here. So I'm just applying it on her scalp and her roots, um, essentially just to keep it moisturized and also to help promote hair growth. And then that's it. That's basically what I do every two to three weeks when I take her hair out. So I hope you guys like this video and you learned something and hopefully you can also 
do the same if you've got a toddler at home and you're looking to grow their hair or maintain their hair this is such a good routine i hope that you do go ahead and try this out if you have any questions guys don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below i do read them all and i will certainly get back to you um you know on time so this is it for me today thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up the video don't also forget to subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already i would really appreciate it and then i'll catch you in my next video thanks so much for watching until next time bye